Today, we're going to be talking about how to move Power Automate desktop flows either between environments or from one tenant to another tenant. This is something that is common when you are moving dev test prod or if you are delivering files to a client as a consultant. If you're not familiar with solutions, solutions are essentially the package of artifacts that belong to a particular project. So the solution management is at the Power Apps Maker portal. Even if you're not doing anything with Power Apps, this is still where you go for the solution management. So under solutions over here, if I click that, the first thing you want to do is check and see which environment you're in because your environment needs to match the environment that Power Automate Desktop is using in order for you to be able to see your flows. So right now, my environment is the dev environment in this tenant. I need to change it to the default environment in order to see my flows. Power Automate Desktop is going to put all of your flows by default in the default environment, and you need to have premium in order to use other environments. So next, we need to click on the new solution menu option here to create a new solution and then give it a name and then select a publisher. So if you're working for a consulting firm, usually they want you to use the consulting firm's name here. If you're in a particular department, you could use your department's name, like some kind of official looking thing so that people know that it's official and not some random person's object, right? So you can create a new publisher if you need to, and then set the version. So by default is one, usually that's fine. So I'm just gonna leave it on that and click create. So that's gonna make us an empty box essentially to put things in. So from here, we can choose to add existing to add our existing Power Automate desktop flows. So under automation, desktop flow, I can see my flows here. So if you don't see your flows here, double check your environments and make sure you're in the right environment and click add, to add the ones you want. You can put multiple in here if you want to, and then go back to the menu we were in before. So that's this little back arrow over here, and it should show up at the top of the list. Just go to the ellipses menu next to it and choose export. And when you export, you need to make sure to publish all changes. I'll make sure that it gets the latest version. So I'm going to publish and then wait for that and then click the next button down here and choose if you want it to be managed or unmanaged. So this is a very important decision. Managed, if you export as managed, will not let you edit it in the place that you import it to. So if you want to be able to edit it in that environment, so for example, if you're delivering something to a client and they need to be able to make changes to it, do unmanaged. It is very common though for people to deliver things as managed solutions so that their client doesn't break it. So think about what you want to do there. I'm going to leave mine as unmanaged for right now and then export. So this is going to take a little while. When it's done, it's just going to pop up a green banner up here that'll let us download it. All right, it's ready. I'm going to click on download. That's going to download a zip file. This is the file that we can use to import on another tenant. So I'm going to open up a different tenant here. So in this one, if I go to the same place, so make.powerapps.com, if you're on a government tenant, the URL is going to be slightly different. You'll want to just use the Power Apps menu option in the waffle launcher. That's this one up here. All right. So same thing. We can go to solutions and then import solution and choose our file and then click on next and import. So this is going to take a little while. When it's done, it'll show up in this menu the same as before. And then we're going to want to make sure that we can see it in Power Automate Desktop to run the flows. So this whole experience will vary a little bit depending on if you have premium Power Automate Desktop licensing or not. Since I don't have premium, I'm running the flows from the desktop app. So I want to check the desktop app to make sure that I can see them. So I'm going to go ahead and log out of my current account up here, sign out, and then sign into my other tenants. So it's put me into the default environment. If I go to my flows, you can see that the flow that I imported shows up here so I can run this and it should work. If for whatever reason you don't see your flow, make sure that your import completed successfully, that you imported it to the right environment. So default if you don't have premium and make sure that that environment matches whatever the environment is over here in the desktop app. 